Welcome to day 14 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. We are halfway there. And I'm so excited for having made so far uh, with you guys. Uh, yeah, this is basically officially the, the end of second week together. Great. Congratulations to myself for keeping up and to you for keeping up with me as well. So without further ado, let's start with today's topic, which is a, a question I received recently that, that says, how can I switch off after work? We always try to activate ourselves to be more productive yeah how can I achieve more how can I do more and basically that is the whole point of this series as well but it is also important to be able to uh yeah quote unquote switch off after a after a work day so that we don't stay in that on state forever we need to come down we need to take a rest we need to uh, get back to our baseline and recharge so that we can be able to go back the next day and and keep on uh, doing our work in a sustainable way right that's that's the whole point of uh, needing to switch off basically but many of us have problems with that, especially in academia. Um, many people end up having to use alcohol, some other drugs, um, sleeping pills, what have you, to be able to, first of all, switch off and then be able to sleep, right? To calm, calm their mind down, get out of that, that constant work mode let's start from this principle switching off has everything to do with your mindset first and foremost uh, before we get to the you know the tips and tricks and hacks talk i want to establish that it is it is about the mindset if in the background you're always on you're always rushing, you're always trying to meet deadlines, you're always late for something, you have to like, go, 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 whatever you try to do on top of that would just be a, like a band-aid, right? It's, it's not gonna work, because in the background, you are always on. So we need to address that constant on thing before we can even thinking think about switching off basically but let's say okay you are uh there you are trying to work on your mindset as well and you're trying to like put the whole thing in a in a routine in a schedule i do have some tips to make it a bit easier for you to switch off after work the first one is and leaving work on time, quote unquote, on time. What do I mean by the on time? That that depends on you, obviously. I cannot tell you, oh, yeah, this is time to leave work. You decide that. But the idea is that you decide it beforehand, and then you honor that decision. You say, okay, like I have decided today to leave office at, at six o'clock. And it's six and I'm leaving, even though things are left undone. The second one is if you can have some physical distance uh, between your workplace and the rest of your life, wherever your, your rest, rest of your life is going on. So once you're done, with work like leave the lab leave the office leave that that building leave the area also like get away from there and and that physical distance will also help you to get the distance mentally this is a bit of a tricky uh 
tip to to implement when you are working from home i know in those cases you can start with getting a room separator this is what i have this is how i separate the rest of my living space from my little workspace here and you can find all kinds of creative ways to do that the idea is to really physically have this separation that is the beginning of the the switching off we're talking about the third one is also related to the the second tip we just talked about once you're done with work don't keep hanging out around your your workplace after hours or during weekends or you know like non-work time try not to go in the vicinity it's that's like work related that area and try to leave it behind why am i saying that because i used to hang around my workplace a lot even off work hours and it wasn't a good idea i was always on because of that even though i was doing something else the, the this kind of confusion was created in my mind like where am i now am i in the workplace or am i like hanging out it's is it my leisure time like what is this you got the idea i'm sure okay tip number four don't discuss work after work hours once in a while drinks with colleagues are fine like i'm not saying take a, like a very radical position and never ever discuss work outside of work but especially if you have also friendship relationships with your colleagues which happens with a lot of us try not to talk about work at all once you're out of that space which is a very tricky thing to do because that's that's the that's the common denominator right you are establishing this this relationship off of workplace so you would automatically do this uh, engage in these discussions even after work but that's really not productive any discussion about work is also work that belongs in the work time maybe more of a flex or free time but still during work time and this kind of relates to also uh to what we bring home as well of course when you have a stressful day uh you have to tell your partner of course you will want to discuss some things and some wins or some bad days where things didn't go as expected as you wanted them to be it is okay to vent and talk about these things but there's a difference between venting uh your your personal feelings about a certain thing versus constantly brainstorming thinking about planning uh things around work you you get the difference i guess right like if you have emotions stirred up in you of course do uh work through them do talk about them but don't plan work um brainstorm about work and yeah don't do work outside of work time then you will be able to create a better separation and finally tip number five protect your evenings protect your weekends protect your quote-unquote leisure time non-work time set boundaries with yourself for academics who are very driven and goal-oriented like yeah i'm gonna do this mindset it is sometimes difficult to set that boundary with themselves they can decide okay today i'm gonna do this uh, much of work then i will go there but then after uh several hours they are still doing their work and they they are calling their friends to cancel oh yeah but uh, i'm really inspired to do my work so i will keep going 
oh, but I have a deadline next week, so I will go. Like, okay, but that's the planning had to be done in another time. Once in a while, this is okay. But if you see that this is turning into a habit more than uh, more than a, like a once in a while exceptional thing, you're in the danger zone. You need to set that boundary with yourself. And just remember, your life is more than your work. But saying yes to this intellectually is something, but really feeling it and and um, taking it in and really living accordingly is something else. You have to act accordingly. So if you have difficulty of doing anything else but work, start getting some hobbies. Start uh, do, doing other things in your life where designated time periods are required and then start going to those things. I hope uh, these tips help you to, to switch off after work. Tomorrow I'll be back with another video and until then, mind your own revisions.